Okay guys, it's Monday the 11th of March. Uh, we are back on the FTSE 100 this week. So coming into the market, um, I have been triggered into a short position after this 10 a.m. candle right here. Um, so as always with the live trade, what I will do is I'll sort of run through the analysis um, behind the setup, um, any trade management, I'll kind of talk you through it. And I'll just basically try and explain to you why I'm doing whatever it is that I am doing um, on this market. So with the FTSE coming into today, um, I was a little bit more neutral. I'm actually starting to lose my voice. So if you can't understand me, I apologize. Uh, I seem to be getting a little bit of a cold. Um, coming into the market today, a little bit more neutral. On Friday, we basically broke down below some fairly key support levels. And then we had a relatively strong bearish movement. So looking at the market, it was looking like we were going to have a stronger bearish movement um, for Friday. And that is exactly what we've seen. But then the US markets pulled the FTSE all the way back up once again. It pulled the FTSE back up, it pulled the DAX back up, and it actually left them looking a little bit more bullish. So with the mixed messages, it just came in today more neutral. I'm sort of focusing on the the main levels of, or for me, the main levels of support and resistance. Now we pressed up, we tested into 7187, which is for me a very good level of resistance on the FTSE. We'll look at this on the daily time frame after either I can get my stop to break even um, or after the trade completes, one or the other, when I can basically stop paying attention to the trade um, quite as much. So we've pushed up into this key resistance level, but the main sort of thing is we have pushed up in a very strong way. So we've tested into this 7149 zone and we just rallied. Um, this leg here has had very, very little pullback. Um, what I'm going to have to do is pause the video because there is a delivery coming up the drive. So life of a trader. Um, I'll be back in two seconds. <laughs> okay, so uh, that's one of the stresses of <laughs> working from home. Um, if you get a delivery coming and you are in a uh, trade. So yeah, delivery is all sorted, still in the trade. Uh, we are starting to make a little bit of a breakdown. Um, the main thing was this very strong run up into a key resistance level without any significant pullback. We had this little pause here, but then we were straight back up and we were straight back into a rejection. So as soon as I seen this, I was happy to get into a short position. Um, and then basically I'll be watching down at these levels to see how the market started to react. It looks like we are starting to come through, but what I wanna do is, um, well, I wanna see how we react down here first. If we continue breaking down, certainly I'll be getting my stop to the break even level at uh, around about 7168, um, potentially a little bit higher depending on how we react with this candle. Right now it's looking pretty bearish, which is good, which is what I wanna see. And um, if we start getting support coming back in, I'd rather protect the trade potentially come out at break even and then look for another entry because although we are potentially overextended you know this is the high from friday we've not even attempted to get back down there and we've just put in a huge bullish bounce although we are potentially overextended um every market that is in a huge bullish rally looks overextended so i'm always thinking about both sides of the coin i'm thinking about my trade but also what those going in the opposite direction are thinking um, and that sort of helps me position myself and try to protect myself um, in the trade because what I don't do is I don't just get into a trade and just blindly hold it. Sometimes I will. If it's a very, very good setup from a very, very good zone, lining up with analysis on the market, then yeah, I will get in and potentially just hold it. But for most trades, I'm sort of in and then I'm looking to see how the market reacts and seeing what it is telling me um, basically to do with the setup. You know, if it's if it's telling me that potentially we're continuing with a bullish rally, so let's say I'm selling into this market and it comes down to here and it hits into this level here. And I'm saying to myself, okay, I'm in this trade. I want it to come down to here because that'll give me some random risk reward level um, that I've just picked out at the top of my head. If I start finding support here, would I just hold on to this and let it come all the way back up to my stop level? No. I would get my stop to break even because if we're continuing with a bullish trend, this would be bullish trending movements. And if I seen this, it would be, for me at least, foolish to, to just ignore what the market is telling me. Um, I don't like this 
some people, let me just say, some people do trade like this, it works for them absolutely fine. But I personally don't like just getting into trades and then just you know sitting on my hands thinking, I'm in a trade, I can see that this market is finding support, I can see that it's potentially gonna move against me, but who cares? I'm in this trade, uh, I'm gonna just, just leave it. I don't, I can't trade like that. I just, it just doesn't work for me. I have to sort of look at the market, analyze the market. Um, and a lot of the time, I do quite well. I get it, and you know, I get the analysis right because I've got the experience. Okay, so stop is now at break even. Um, and we're gonna see how the market reacts in this zone down here. Um, I would like to see it coming back down toward this previous swing. If it does, I will be looking to close in at least sort of partial profits. So let's see if we can get down there. If we do, and I can lock in partial profits, then what I'll also do is we'll sort of jump onto the daily time frame and we'll look at why these levels have been such key resistance. I've been going over these levels for, I don't even know, maybe two, two, three weeks now with subscribers because they are sort of setting themselves up as very key areas on FTSE. Okay, so we're coming down to, what are we at? What am I risking? So 60 pound per point. So I will be closing out 30 pounds per point. Just waiting to see if we can just pop down a little bit further. Okay, so what we can see is the bulls are starting to step back in at this zone down here, uh, which is exactly what I was saying. If we're going to continue with a bullish trend, this would sort of be the area where it would likely start to happen. Now, we've came, it started to happen a little bit higher than I was expecting, um, but that's why my stops at break even. That's why the trade is now protected, because I don't want this to start rallying back up once again and sort of um, pass my entry all the way up to my stop level, take me out for a loss when I was at a decent profit level and I was also at an area in the market which was telling me that potentially the bulls are going to be looking to step back in once again. So with this trade, it's now protected. What I'm actually going to do is because we've popped up a little bit, I'm going to go on to the um, daily time frame um, or maybe the four hour time frame actually. We'll just have a look at this um, area up here and why I've been sort of watching it as potential resistance. Okay, so we are now on the four hour time frame. The trade is popping back up and potentially it's going to take me back out at the break even level. Um, so, four hour time frame, basically looking at the market, creating or pulling itself or pushing itself into a potential squeeze down here. This whole section down here. So, we can see the market trending down, pressing up against sloping resistance, finding support, finding support, finding support, finding support. This whole section, you can see it testing, testing. This is holding in the level. This is trying to break down and holding in the level. This is breaking up and holding on the level. As we break down, we retest it and confirm. As we come up, we retest it, we fall away, fall away, fall away again, and we've pressed back up again. So again, it's the exact same reason. You know, it's the old potential squeeze. If we extend it forward, potentially we are testing into exactly the same levels. So that's the reason why I'm watching up here for um, potential resistance. Now we have found some support here. Um, if it does pop up and take me out of break even, so be it. The reason I was letting it run is because the market has made such a press higher, it's worthwhile watching for um, potentially stronger bearish coming into uh, the FTSE and potentially heading back down toward these sections where we opened um, this morning. So. If we pop up, it'll take me out of break even. All I'm gonna do is let the trade run. I'm not really looking to do anything unless we come back down and retest deeper into this zone. If we do, then I will be looking to lock in um, potential at least half profits. Okay, so the market has came back down. I've just closed out 50% of the position. So around about sort of 310 pound is now locked in. So no matter what happens, if we pop back up to the break-even level, that £310 is safe. Yeah. So um, came down, sensible level to take half profits, came back up, almost hit that stop level. Yeah, that's a sort of that's a sort of area where you're thinking to yourself as it's coming back up, have I made the right decision? You know, this is gonna take me out of break-even. How much profit did I have before it reversed on me? Um, that's just all part of trading, yeah. Um, if you're happy with what you're doing, if you're happy with your analysis, um, just follow the plan. Uh, there's no, it, it's not a skill that that happens. Um, it's another sort of thing that I don't like is when a trading educator um, shows a trade and sort of try and pass it off as skill. That could quite easily have just popped up and taken me out of break even. 
it happens um, from time to time. But the reason for the stop being at break even is to protect the position because we test it into an area whereby if it starts to reverse, the reversal is potentially then going to be bullish continuation. You know, it's just thinking around your trade. Um, and on this occasion, yep, it's reversed back down. I've managed to lock in some profit. So now I'm just going to watch, see how we react in this zone. Um, hopefully we can start to see it breaking down a little bit further. Um, but yeah, I mean, we'll see how we get on. And what I'll do is I'll turn the video back on if we start to make that move down or if we start to press um, back up once again. Okay, so I have now closed the position out uh, around about £820 of profit. We basically came down and uh, we started to find a little bit of support. What I was really looking at was we closed right on the lower portion of this support zone. And then instead of breaking down, what we've done is we've started to just put in a little bit of support. So yeah, more than happy to just lock in profits and call that a day. So nice trade on the FTSE. Um, yeah, I mean, nice simple rejection looking at the market potentially being overextended using a little bit of common sense in the previous swing point sitting right here closing partial profits uh, getting the stop to break even and then letting the remainder run down into the bottom of the zone so yeah really nice way to start the week so as always guys i hope that was helpful um, i hope you're all having a good trading week i'm james orr and thank you